Hello and welcome back to another episode of Rants and Reviews where I will be reviewing every single episode of American Horror Story 1984. But yes, I did skip last week's episode and that is because I wasn't feeling very well at the time so I couldn't properly record but I will be recapping a little bit of last week's episode and then jump directly into this week's episode. Okay, so in episode 4 we learned about Montana's motive and it was revealed that Montana's brother was actually the same guy that Brooke's group shot during the wedding. In order for Montana to take revenge from Brooke, she wanted to target her and to isolate her and to, you know, possibly kill her. But of course, she wasn't gonna do that on her own. Luckily enough for Montana, she met Richard, aka the Night Stalker, at the aerobics class and they fell in love basically to a point where he would do anything for her, including murder. Other than that, we also learned that Mr. Jingles isn't actually as evil as you think he is. I did mention in my previous episode that Margaret was someone to look after because she had this suspicious vibes to her and she was weird. So back then, Margaret was a counselor at Camp Redwood and she was kind of the oddball and she was always targeted and bullied. So was Mr. Jingles and they kind of had a bond and he promised to protect her. Then for some reason she decides to turn against him and to frame her for her murders. I mean, we understand why she murdered everyone and that's because she wanted to take revenge. But she targeted the one person that promised to protect her and she got him in jail. And he got to a point where he lost his mind and he was convinced that he was the murderer of all of these people were killed. Okay, so now that we got a quick recap on last week's episode, let's jump into this week's episode. Now, this episode was definitely very eventful and very fun to watch because a lot of things were happening after another and it was just so entertaining. Okay, okay, so this episode starts off in 1980s where Donna is seemed to be sneaking on to her dad for assuming that he's cheating on her mom with someone else. But what she did find out was incomparable to what she was expecting. Basically, her dad is a psychopath. She walks in onto her dad. She sees a murder scene. There's a poor woman gutted on the bed while there were pictures of previous murder cases all over the room. Poor Donna, or Didi, as her serial killer father called her, she insisted that no one is born with this kind of evil, no one is as dark and as malicious, yet he was convinced that he was born with this and he did exactly that as he plunged a knife into his back. In fact, that wasn't the last time she saw her father. She saw her father in the, the present in 1984. She didn't even have time to process Richard's apparent revival because he's basically the devil and he doesn't die. So then Brooke discovers Ray, which was confusing because he literally got his head chopped off. She discovered him walking through the camp, disoriented, not knowing what the hell is going on. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? So then they found shelter in one of the cabins and Brooke opened up to him. She rants a little more about her lifeless past and how she wasn't even sure if she loved her fiance. And Ray talks about how he always wanted to be a doctor. After, you know, Brooke smashed a ghost, they both head to the fridge to find out Ray's head frozen and just casually laying there. What are you? Fuck, look, please. No, don't touch me! No. This sent her running in tears to Montana, who was apparently ready to slash her brunette head off. She just couldn't wait anymore. She then finally exposed everything to Brooke. She told her everything and why she brought her here and why she wanted to kill her, which basically set the scene for an amazing cat fight that probably lasted until the morning after. So the sun rose on Camp Redwood and the children that Margaret has been talking about finally arrived to unfortunately witness Brooke standing over Montana's dead body and just stabbing her to death non-stop. It must have been traumatizing. So Brooke is taken in and you can't honestly blame the police for taking her because she murdered someone. Regardless of whatever happened, you know who else you can't blame? Mr. Jingles and Richard stealing one of the police cars and just hitting the road because they can. Yes, no they're besties now, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so let's catch up a little bit with Miss Margaret, the villain of all villains. Again, fast forward to the present, Margaret stabs herself in her legs just to blame Brooke for everything. So we end this episode with closure on the whole night attacking situation and we finally go through the day. So the next episode is gonna be the 100th episode of the entire American Horror Story franchise. 
which kind of opens up the question whether it's gonna be a compilation of everything that happened before. Are we gonna get flashbacks? Is it gonna have any relevance with the previous seasons? Or, or are we just gonna get a major plot twist? Also, a few days ago, I stumbled across a very interesting theory about this whole season. I found this theory by Real Talk, who did find this theory by a user called Brownie Gamer. I'll put a link to that video down in the description if you want to, you know, dig deep into the whole situation. So the theory basically states that this entire season is a film starring Emma Roberts character Madison Montgomery. Now Madison Montgomery was the character from Coven and Apocalypse. Since Ryan Murphy mentioned a few years ago that we haven't seen the last of the Witches of the Coven, it could possibly be a prequel to Madison's story before joining the Witches' Coven. But I personally don't think it's true because we've kind of progressed a little bit further in the season and the story is no longer just focused on Brooke, it's very much focused on everyone else and everyone else's background, so it wouldn't kind of connect all the dots. If you've made it this far in this video, let me know down in the comments below what do you think of the whole Madison Montgomery theory. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, share this with your American Horror Story friends, click the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>